Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. So today, Panda Sama introduced a brand new update to their infamous pregnancy mod, which I'm sure y'all are very well aware of. I've done a couple videos here on the channel going over the features, but today they've implemented the ultrasound feature, which allows your Sims to get real life ultrasounds, bring their significant others with them, and share those ultrasounds with family and friends, amongst a few extra features and interactions that they've also introduced with this update. Before we go any further, I would like to mention that this update is currently under early access. However, it will be released to the public on February 10th, I believe. The first brand new interaction that I'm going to share with you guys really just adds so much realism when sharing the big news and telling your partner that y'all are having a baby currently in The Sims 4. They do share the news and it's kind of, it's cute, it's cute. I'm not going to lie, it's not like super eventful or anything, but this interaction, y'all, kind of brought tears to my eyes. So once you're sim finds out that they are expecting they can actually go to their partner and underneath the romance category they will be able to share pregnancy news now just keep in mind that anything related to this mod will actually have like this little health symbol next to it so it'll be super duper easy to find granted my sim is in her second trimester so she's kind of known for a while that she's pregnant but let's just pretend okay let's just pretend she just found out i'm not gonna say word i'm just just gonna let the animation play because the animation is so freaking moving no words are needed for <laughs> <gasps> wow <laughs> 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 I don't know if it's a pregnancy hormones myself, but every time I see that interaction, I genuinely do get a little emotional and I can feel how important of a moment it is between those Sims and I absolutely love it. The best part about the interaction is that you can play it anytime throughout the pregnancy and you can play it again and again. And don't quote me on this, but I think if your Sim hates children, they could actually have a negative reaction to the news. However, with my my particular situation my partner is very happy and we received a happy buff that says we're expecting from pregnancy news Shauna is thrilled that her partner is just as happy as she hoped they are having a baby together there's so much to do and so much to plan but for now they are taking a moment to celebrate this wonderful news if you've watched other updates or videos on this mod then you know it's no secret that this mod brings couples together it really allows your sim and the player to immerse themselves in such a special moment and I think this mod is going to be perfect for when we get the updated infants or whatever the new life stage. I'm so freaking excited. Speaking of bringing Sims together, there are two brand new interactions that really get you in your feels. The first one is being able to nap together. So this will be an interaction that you can perform, I think, with Sims if you have like a specific friendship level or a specific romance level. It's kind of up to you. Uh, but they'll go over to the couch and they'll sit down and they will actually sleep and I think it's the cutest thing hopefully it'll work because it worked two seconds ago I was about to say I look like a liar but isn't this so adorable I feel like this particular interaction works best with a sim that is a little bit further in their pregnancy and my sims in her second trimester I've already mentioned that but isn't that so cute and another perk with this interaction is that it will indeed raise your energy bar so I think this is super freaking cute and you'll get Get a flirty buff that says a cozy snuggle. Shauna woke up in her partner's embrace. The soft light filtering through the window fills a room with peaceful atmosphere. The warmth of their bodies pressed up against one another has left her feeling cozy and secure. Shauna felt completely safe in her partner's arms and she can't help but smile as she looks up at her partner feeling grateful to have them in their life. I look dumb as hell right now. I'm actually getting emotional off of reading these moodlets. In case you guys don't know, I'm myself am eight months pregnant I'm 30 weeks 30 36 weeks pregnant literally do anytime now and uh whew, that just like socked me right in the feels like talk about emotional damage oh my goodness seriously these moodlets will have you feeling so 
so attached to your Sims. It's crazy. And I still have one more interaction to share with you, and it's called a pregnancy cuddle. This one actually won't be tied to a specific object, so you'll have to go underneath romance, and there you will be able to find a pregnancy cuddle. Again, just look for the little, like, I guess medical symbol. I have no idea what that actually is, but look for that, and once you find it, then you'll know that it actually pertains to the mod. Now, does this mod interfere with the relationship wellness mod by, I think, Lumpiao? I think there are a couple, like, little discrepancies, but I took that mod out so that you guys can see uh, specifically what this mod has to offer. I have no clue what just happened there. <laughs> like, for a second, they looked like they were cuddling, and then it just kind of glitched out, so I might have to do this one more time. Hopefully they'll do it this time so I can actually show you how freaking cute it is. So they're there. They're cuddling. He's rubbing her belly. She's loving it. Let me tell you, those belly scratches, oof, they will <laughs> they will make you soft. <laughs> I mean, you can feel the baby, but give my belly a scratch because that shit is itchy. But I think this is so cute. And they kiss. Oh my god. I love this. I love this so much. I think the animations are just absolutely incredible. Okay, so I think we need to move on to the ultrasound. So you're going to need a little a little preparation for this one. Is there a moodlet for this specific interaction? No, I don't really see a moodlet popping up. I mean, there could be if we would have followed that through. I love how like flirty they get. That's so cute. But if you want to schedule an ultrasound, you're actually going to have to put in a little bit of legwork. So underneath the home menu on your phone, you're going to scroll down and you're going to call obstetrician. If you've had this mod in, you're pretty familiar um, with, you know, how to do these types of things. You're going to see a bunch of options pertaining to like delivery and things like that. We don't need to go there yet. You have time. But the one that I'm mostly interested in is at the very bottom and uh, it says get an ultrasound. And then you'll get a prompt that will tell you all about the ultrasound and how important it is and yada yada yada. But I'm not going to waste your time reading it. If you want to read it, go ahead. But if you would like to proceed, all you need to do is click let's go. And there you will be able to select someone to go with you. Opting to get your sim an ultrasound will actually teleport them to the hospital. If you have get to work, you're going to need to do a little bit of prep work. And I know what you're thinking. I can't actually edit this lot. It is editable. You're just going to have to type in some cheats. So we're going to open the cheat cheat box. We're going to do testing cheats on. We're going to enter it. We're going to open the cheat box again. And then I'm going to do a free build, free build, free build, <laughs> and then select enter. And now I'll be able to make the appropriate adjustments. So we're going to hop into build mode. I'm going to use this room here. We're going to delete this surgery table. I'm actually going to do a couple things because I really feel like this area is just super duper ugly. I'm going to throw in a dual tinted window here, a dual tinted window there. I'm going to actually go back into buy mode or build mode because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm going to fix the lighting a little bit because the lighting is just too yellow for me. Now you're going to need a piece of equipment. So the easiest way to do this is just to filter through custom content. You're going to see like a lot of custom pieces pertaining to this mod, but the one that we are focusing on today is actually going to be the ultrasound machine. So this bad boy is going to be placed in the center of the room. You're going to want to make sure that you have a lot of room on either side, especially because over here, a stool is going to generate if you opt in to having your partner join you in the ultrasound. Does that make sense? Yes, no? At first, I thought you had to put a stool there, and that was a mistake that Jed made because that is not how this works. Once you do this, save your game so that you don't have to keep doing this every single time. The next thing that you need to do is you need to select your ultrasound preference. So here, you can either decide to keep the baby's gender a surprise, or you can actually find out. It's up to you. <laughs> so for the sake of this video and just for the sake of just me being impatient in general, I always want to know. So I'm going to say, yes, please. I want to know. And then after that, you'll actually be able to start your ultrasound scan. So we can start our scan. We can select whomever it is in the hospital 
to perform our scan. <laughs> this dude has some pretty sick eyeshadow. I'm almost like tempted to go with him. But I think I'm going to go with uh, Liani instead. And once you have your sim make their way to the ultrasound and they actually sit on the table uh, for their procedure. Is it a procedure? I don't know. Um, then you'll be able to have your partner join. But I heard, okay, I heard that they'll also join autonomously. But sometimes, you know, I get a little nervous because I don't want them to miss out on that moment. So I'm having my sim make his way down the hallway so that when the time comes, he will actually partake in this special event because if he misses it I'll be pissed if this happens have no fear you have plenty of time have your sim join and then they'll pull up a stool and they'll put the hand on the little bar and uh, they'll watch the ultrasound together and the coolest part is that this is actually animated isn't that beautiful I think that's so cute I love this and the best part is you'll get like little updates congratulations you're pregnant based on the ultrasound scan it looks like you're expecting one healthy baby everything looks looks good so far, but we'll continue to monitor your pregnancy and the baby's development to make sure everything stays on track. This is an exciting time and we're here to support you every step of the way. I love how mom is like oogling and googling at the screen and dad is literally like, oh my god, there's a baby in there. There's a human growing in my freaking fiance's belly right now. It's kind of crazy. I know. And then the ultrasound will actually tell you later on what the gender of the baby is. And in our case, wow. the ultrasound sound scan shows that we are expecting a healthy baby girl and once the ultrasound is over you'll talk to your obstetrician about the next steps moving forward and then the mother of the baby will actually have an ultrasound scan in their inventory so this actually unlocks a brand new interaction that you can perform with family and friends when you share the big news with them she'll actually pull out the ultrasound and show them the ultrasound that she received today another cool thing that you can do is actually name the baby if you wanted to so if you have a name in mind already you can actually go ahead and put that down so let's just say we're gonna name the baby Abigail that's actually my niece's name and now whenever we hover over the ultrasound scan it's actually going to say the name of the baby unfortunately for Shauna she doesn't have any friends so we had to befriend a rando and uh, Julia here is gonna be our guinea pig so to share the ultrasound with a family member or a friend you're gonna have to make sure that the ultrasound Sound stays inside the sims inventory from there you'll be able to go underneath more choices friendly you'll have to dig a little bit just depending on how many how many things you have in your game but eventually you'll get to the end and there it will say share pregnancy news again look for the icon to find it easily after sharing the amazing news and the ultrasound with a loved one, you'll receive a happy moonlit that says, I'm expecting. Shauna knows it's early, but the news must be shared. She must tell all her friends and families about her new baby. Speaking of ultrasound, you can do pretty much anything with the ultrasound that you could with a regular photo. So you can buy a picture frame, which is actually going to charge you 20 simoleons, but will unlock the give birth interaction immediately, even if you're isn't fully dilated let me tell you it's worth the splurge because sometimes you don't want to wait for your sim to be fully dilated so we're gonna we're gonna click uh buy a picture frame and then let me see i think the frame is separate from the ultrasound <gasps> which is so cool what and now you have your baby's ultrasound in a beautiful beautiful picture frame i think you can actually keep these together and are you able to place this on a <gasps> and even with the ultrasound in the frame you can place it on the wall or you can display it on an accent table that is so cute another feature that was included into this update is birth emergencies so during a home birth there's a 10 percent chance that this this will happen to a pregnant sim that is currently pregnant with one baby and a 30% chance that this could happen to a sim that is pregnant with multiples. Basically, you'll see a notification and a moodlet to let you know that your sim might be experiencing a stalled birth. Their dilation will slow down during the stalled birth, but there will be a chance it will return to normal 
after an hour. In addition to your sim receiving a moodlet letting them know of the birth emergency, you may also experience a moodlet that says something feels off. Jasmine might be overthinking, but it seems like her contractions are slowing down. She remembered the words of her doctor who had warned that a stall labor was a possibility and that it could lead to a difficult and prolonged birth. Jasmine couldn't help but think of the worst case scenario of the potential risks to her and her baby. Should she try moving around and hopefully her contractions will pick up again? Or if you have a midwife, you can actually have them check on the baby and this will speed things up. And then there'll be like a notification and they'll tell you if your sim needs to do an emergency C-section. You also get a pop-up that asks you to go to the hospital because of your birth emergency. But it does say, however, if you don't want to go to the hospital, just click on the close button on the top right corner and things will return to normal. There is no penalty for doing so and your sim won't die. Your sim will get a moodlet after arriving at the hospital and they should get an epidural and a c-section autonomously. If they don't, just ask the doctors manually. And there your sim will receive a scared moodlet that says emergency c-section. Jasmine thought about the baby inside of her, the little life that she had been carrying all this time. She had never felt so scared and alone in her life. She had heard horror stories about c-sections, about the pain and the risks, and now that's all she can think of. Jasmine is not sure if she is strong enough to go through with it. And now with this update, when your sim enters their third trimester, they will actually develop stretch marks. I was so excited to see this feature implemented because stretch marks are just a beautiful process of pregnancy. I know there's a lot of taboo around them, but honestly, I think they're so gorgeous. I have stretch marks. Everybody gets stretch marks, whether it's related to pregnancy or otherwise. It's just part of being a human. And so the cool thing about this is, is that you have the option to make these stretch marks permanent or if you decide to leave them alone they will fade within three sim days in addition to stretch marks sims that receive c-sections will also have c-section scars there's also a brand new birthing method and that is called the unassisted birth so what you would do is you would place down your bassinet you can have a baby like you would normally in the sims 4 that's unrelated to the mod but the unassisted birth option is just going to be a little bit different so when your sim is in labor they're gonna have that natural dilation process if you've watched previous updates on this mod then you already know there are various ways that you can actually assist in furthering that dilation i think you can even like <laughs> um i don't know i don't know if like having woohoo helps and stuff but i think it does you can also like do breathing exercises you can purchase like a yoga ball there's a bunch that you can do but if you're like me and you're feeling rather impatient all you need to do is just go to the childbirth settings and then I think think you can click give birth immediately and there it will allow you to have that unassisted birth. You're going to want to make sure that there's a lot of room because your sim I'm not exactly sure how this is done, but your sim will literally drop wherever they are and they will start having their baby. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little graphic, I'm not gonna lie. So make sure that you're in a space where your sim has a lot of room, they'll drop to the floor. I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of intense. It's really intense actually. Never mind our fiance, I literally have no idea where he went. He was feeling super tense because our partner's in labor. I was kind of hoping there was a way we could support her through that labor. He just went on his computer and pretended like it wasn't even happening but it was a quick labor because our baby girl is here and of course as we already decided we are going to name her abigail from what i can recall the unassisted birth only supports one baby so if you have multiples your sim's not going to basically go through that multiple times they're going to go through it once and then i guess the appropriate bassinets will pop up for the rest of the infants it's a little confusing i will admit but yeah for right now uh the assisted birth only supports one baby or one birth. I kind of already showed you this earlier, but I wanted to go over it again. If at any point you have any issues or anything like that, or you want to cheat certain settings, you absolutely can. All you need to do is just shift click on your sim. You'll go through more choices. You'll hit the childbirth settings. And from here, you'll be able to disable the birth emergency just in case you don't want your sims to experience them. You can also disable the stretch marks and scarring, enable permanent stretch marks. Mark is never giving birth before. And I like how everyone 
one of these actually tells you what it does. You can also like remove dilation. Uh, apparently, you can turn off weight gain after birth. You can also turn off woohoo induced labor. So I guess it doesn't help with dilation, but it can help induce labor. Ooh, I like that. And you can wear your own clothes during natural labor. I haven't really played with these settings very much, so I'm not 100% sure what they do. But in case you were interested in checking them out or you needed one of those, now you know where to find them. Anyways, you guys, that's all that I have to share with you in this update on the birth mod by Panda Sama. If you're interested in checking out previous versions of this mod and the other features that it has to offer, I will go ahead and link previous videos that I've done on this mod in the description down below. And with that said, I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.